Uh, Brian, we were talking about uh, some, or at least one of the horror stories that can happen. Uh, number one, can happen in home-based ba business, but number two, if you're not covered correctly. And you talked about getting endorsements on your mm -hmm. current homeowner's policy if you have a business. Let's say I've got a business and I've got $10,000 worth of inventory and I take an order over the phone in my, from, in my home office and I pack up a piece of, uh, of whatever I'm selling and I take it to the UPS and send it to the customer and bill them. Okay. Does that entail a whole new policy or does that entail just an, an endorsement to the current policy? It really depends on what you're packing up and sending. Okay, dynamite. And, and, and how you got your know, dynamite. Is, <laughs> that's a different story altogether. Yeah, that's a different one, yes. Uh, it depends on how you got the product. You know, did you buy it from somebody else? Did you make it? Yeah, what are you sending? A whole bunch of different factors are involved. But for the most part, if you're dealing with shipments of $10,000 at a time, you're probably going to want a full-blown business sure. insurance policy. Sure. Uh, an endorsement to the homeowner's policy is really for the smaller businesses or incidental businesses to the home. Um, and not every business would qualify to have the home-based and business endorsement um, added to the homeowner's policy. It's something you really want to discuss with your, with your agent or your homeowner's insurance company uh, about whether it's eligible. Most contractors aren't eligible. They don't want it. They, contractors need a, a separate policy. I can understand that. Um, yeah. Even well, though their businesses really run most of the time out of their homes. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah. D to refer to the example I used before, daycare businesses, some companies will allow them, some companies won't. Um, it depends on the number of kids. It depends on, you know, if they're relatives. A whole bunch of different factors are involved there. Um, as far as the the smaller businesses, like, uh, like uh, piano lessons, those are usually fine. Uh, and it also depends if you have people coming to your house for business purposes or if you just have an office at the home and, and go visit your clients elsewhere.